Well, so I have a special guest in the studio with me. I'm really honored to have Mr. Caesar Elwa. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, I had to ask somebody before I didn't want to mess up your name. People call me all kind of names. Eloi, Eloi, Elo, but it's Elwa. Elwa. It's, that's one of those Louisiana French names. Exactly. Yeah, I think they've been there since like the 1800s. All right. But um, it's, it's a Louisiana name. Okay, so... I want you to introduce uh, the people that are listening to this show to who you are. You are an incredible singer, well, thank you. incredible performer. I well, met you over you. at the Prime Example, I think, yes, the first that's time. that's the spot on Tuesday nights. Yeah, that's a Tuesday night spot. Yeah. And um, just really impressed by you, and I listened to your album, and so impressed by your music and your well, vocal I appreciate style. that. And now you got a new song out. Yes. And yes. Let's talk about that. Now, this one, I'm kind of flipping the script, if you would. Um... And I'm going to just be direct. A friend of mine made a comment one time. Uh, and I don't think he was actually directing it towards me, but he, but I took something from what he said. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about uh, singing where your voice resonate mm -hmm. and not hooping and hollering. Mm -hmm. And I thought about that. And um, that kind of laid a foundation for what we have here now. Okay. Um, what did you take away from that? How did well, that movie here? Just sing where your voice resonates. Don't be doing all that. See, I, when I was younger, I just had this range that where I just could sing almost whatever I heard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as I grew older, that remained a part of me. But then, then it came to my attention, well, now it's time to groove it down a little bit <laughs> and go hang out with Lou Rawls and those kind of guys, you know. <laughs> and it's a fun place to be. It really is. It's a fun place to be. How so? Well... It's just so relaxing. And, you know, if you sit back and listen to Lou Rawls, I, I listen to a, a live concert on Lou Rawls all the time with the big band. And, Lord, it's just the most energizing thing you could ever imagine. You know, I, I had the experience of singing with a big band at Southern University under the direction of Dr. Kid Jordan. Okay. In, like, 1974, I think it was. So I, I kind of could relate to what I hear happening in that music. All right. So, um, so I'm trying to move in that direction, if you would. I got you. Well, the song definitely sounds good. It's called "Always Feel the Need." Who's playing on this uh, song with you? It's Donald Ramsey, that who I describe as the most soulful bass player on the planet. Now, Donald was raised. His father was a member of a longtime gospel group, and I think that's where Donald picked that character up from. Okay. Because if you want a soul, just listen to how he plays. I mean, you you know, he just have a way to move you, and I've worked with him so many times, and um, you also have um, Thaddeus Richard. Now, Thaddeus Richard is a master musician. Mm -hmm. You have Terrence Higgins. Mm -hmm. You have um, Daryl Johnson. And, 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 and I'm extremely proud to see that I was able to convince the legendary James Rivers to wow. play on this song. I tried to get him on the last project. Ah, man, I don't want to do no work right now. <laughs> but uh, I sick his daughters on him. <laughs> how'd you, how'd you yeah, I got them girls to get him. He, 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 he did it. He did it. You get what you want. I got what I want. He said, man, you know, you like my little brother, man. Come on, what you want? And I got him over there, and he just blew it down. I took him like, man, you know, when you work with musicians like that, it's, it's an amazing experience because um, James went in there and just the first take, the first take. And then we didn't use all of what he did because he didn't want to play all through the song. Mm -hmm. But when, when, typically I'm accustomed to people doing more than one take. Like I had this guy Amadee Castanel. Amadee Castanel played with a popular New Orleans band called Chocolate Milk. Amadee oh, yeah. was a saxophone player, and he did a song with me called "Behind Closed Doors." And the problem with him was he blew six tracks that were all so good to where the problem figuring out which one to use. <laughs> so like, you know, just give me one. <laughs> just give me one. So I'm glad James didn't put me in that position because when he did what he did, I said, "Bro, you true." That's a wrap. Oh, now, you can so sit nice. down and chill. He sat there and chilled with us a while while we did a little work. But So how long did it take you to just uh, come up with the idea to put out a song and, and get everybody together? Well, to uh, be honest with you, a friend of mine, Lionel Desdune, and I worked on this song. Well, Lionel initiated this song in 2000. Wow. I heard it, and I wanted Aaron Neville to do it. And I said, well, I can't get close enough to Aaron to get him to listen to this. So then 
around 2009, I said, well, I'm going to do it. And so I took the song and I turned the song into me. Right. You know, because I was having a problem at first because I was trying to please other people. And then when I said, no, I'm going to turn this song into Caesar. Mm -hmm. And then everything fell in place. That's so, right. It works that way. All right, so we're going to play this song. I've been playing it on uh, The New at Noon for the last few weeks. Now. Oh, okay. So it's called Always Feel the Need. It's by Cesar Elwa. Um, it's available on Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Yeah. All right, so make sure that you check out Cesar Elwa, spelled E L L O I E, yeah. for more information. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Cause I love you 